Hello there. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Josh. I am your movie apprentice. And today, this will be your introduction to T-rated movies, an online course where we look at some movies and TV shows and compare them to cups of tea. Now, before we get into our first lesson where we'll look at the different gradings of tea, we are going to do a quick introduction to what this course will be. So this course will take place in a variety of videos that you will see all listed down below. And the schedule for these videos or lessons as we will call them from this point onwards is as follows. Mondays to Saturdays are exclusively for such original content such as movie and TV reviews and ranking videos. And on alternating Sundays, we again have original podcast episodes where we, along with fellow film brains of the internet, talk about different movies, ideas and genres of film. But we also do have to go for common themes and we do have to have an occasional video essay where I personally look at some of my favourite movies and analyse why they are my favourites in a series called Why I Love Movies. Now that you are aware of these online video lessons, it is time to get into some little administration things because our big CEO higher ups like their feedback and we on the Movie Apprentice channel do appreciate your feedback. Do you enjoy the lessons? Well, we have a thumbs up and thumbs down system for that. If you enjoy the lesson, you give us a thumbs up. If you don't like the lesson as much or you disagree with some points that the lesson raises, then you can thumbs down. Either way, we always appreciate your feedback. If you want to give some more detailed feedback, there is a little comment platform down below every single video lesson where you can give more detailed versions of your feedback. And if you want to open yourself to the entire repertoire of the lessons that we offer here on this channel, then there is a red button that says subscribe on it. If you hit that, you will never ever miss a lesson. And if you want to be here first come first serve, then you hit that bell notification as well. Hit, click, spank, whatever your preferred phrase is, that is how you follow these lessons. Now with the administrative things out of the way, it is time to give you that first lesson an introduction into T-rated movies. This is a scale of 10 T ratings from worst to best and I will try my best to explain exactly what each one of these ratings means. Boiling water. Congratulations, you have given me a cup of boiling water and you have proven that you don't know anything about making movies. Imagine the boiling water you put in the teacup is the camera equipment, the sound stuff, but just shooting something does not make it a movie. The tea bag is your plot, it is your free act structure, it is your characters. Without any of these essential ingredients, it's not tea, it's just some hot water, pour it into a cup, and you give me that, I'm just gonna pour it down the sink. And the same with movies, you give me that, you are getting the lowest grade possible. Just the tea bag. On the flip side of that, you know plot, you know the free act structure, you know characters and you know development, but you've not done any effort to add more substance to that. You give me a cup with a tea bag in it, you give me the basic ingredients, but you've not attempted to add any style or substance to this. So it's just not going to be enjoyable and we are not going to recommend it. So that is why we have the just a tea bag rating. If you give us just an idea without any substance to it, then your movie is just gonna fall into the pits of forgottenness. Cold tea. Congratulations, you know substance, you know plot structure, and you know how to add stuff to the movie. But your problem is you have made me this tea, you have given me this tea, and you have, unfortunately you have bored me. I may be doing something else, I might be getting easily distracted, so by the time I think, oh yeah, this tea I've got exists, it's going to be ice cold, and I'm either going to force myself to enjoy it, or I'm going to pour it down the sink. And that is the same with movies, there are some movies that just don't have any enjoyment to them, they are easy to forget, and if you're going to digest them, then you're just going to be forcing yourself to it and not get any genuine gratification from watching these movies. And that is why we have the cold tea stipulation. Lukewarm tea. Similar to the cold cup of tea. Again, you have made me this tea, you have presented it to me, and it might be good, but it is one of those where, again, I might get distracted by little things. And I'll suddenly remember, oh yeah, I have this tea. 
and it will be quite lukewarm. It won't be cold, but it'll be lukewarm. And I will drink it every time because it's still got some warmth to it and there is still something about it. But chances are, I'm not gonna enjoy it that much and just go and make myself another one. That is the same with movies. There are some movies that have something about them, but unfortunately, they're just quite forgettable and fail to stick the landing. So for that reason, that is why we have the lukewarm cup of tea rating. Too much milk. Too much milk. Why do we have that rating? Well, unless you're a complete psychopath, most people that enjoy tea like their tea nice and strong. You put your tea bag, you put your hot water in, and you put the milk in, and you let that tea bag soak in the milk and brew it. The milk is your substance that you're truly adding to give more character to this tea. Well, it's the same with movies. There are some movies that will just give us too much plot, too many side quests, too many characters in a short space of time, or just a bunch of convoluted things and add way too much to the movie. And as a result, it just gives you a weaker movie. Similar to tea, if there's too much milk, it's gonna be weak as hell. And same with your movies. Too much stuff, it's gonna be too weak to enjoy. So that is why we have the too much milk rating. Okay tea. What can I say? Same with movies and tea. There are some times which is okay. You are passable, you're enjoyable, you will get me by. But there isn't a whole lot of explaining really needed for this one. There's no metaphor I can really use. It's just sometimes you have an okay film that's fine. And sometimes you have a tea that is just fine. Needs more sugar. Now, more traditionally, I do not have sugar in my teas. I do enjoy the sweetness idea of sugar. And there are some films that they have something. They are enjoyable. They are better than okay. But there is something about them that just doesn't push it to the level where you're going to be screaming from the rooftops about it. And then with tea, I feel like with tea, sometimes you've got to sweeten the deal a little bit. So it needs a bit more sugar, a little bit of added something to give it a good kick to get to the next level. And I feel like films have that same problem sometimes. We're just in that little kick to take it to the next level and just can't quite get there. Good cup of tea. You are a good cup of tea. You are a very enjoyable film. I would definitely recommend you. Same with a good cup of tea. I will drink it. I will enjoy it. It will satisfy me for quite a while. I won't need another one for quite a bit. And I may not talk about the tea, but I can say I really enjoyed that tea. And same with movies. I can say I enjoy this and I would highly recommend any good cup of tea film to people. Great cup of tea. The great cup of tea like films are almost perfect. They are almost there. There is something about them that just makes you feel fully gratificated and fully satisfied. And same with movies. There are some movies that are just great that are lacking that little bit extra just to push them to that perfect territory. Great is genuinely the highest rating you'll commonly get on this course, on this channel because there are not a whole lot of films or teas that can take it to that next level. Perfect cup of tea. And finally we get to the creme de something France language. This is the perfect cup of tea. Same with films, we don't know what we're looking for, but when we find it, when we find that perfect movie, when we find that perfect cup of tea, we will shout it from the rooftops. We don't know it until we find it. And when we find it, oh, you bet your butt, we are gonna talk about it and scream it from the rooftops how much we enjoy it. It will be very rare to find the perfect cup of tea and it is rare to find the perfect movie. But when you have those times, they are very much gratifying and highly enjoyable. And so that is your introduction to T-rated movies. I hope this answers any questions that you may have now. If you want to continue with this course, there are a lot of videos available on this platform. Be sure to leave your feedback, whether that be from a simple, I liked it or I didn't like it, or some more detailed feedback on the course, we would really appreciate it. And everyone that wants to commit to a long time with this course, that red button is there for you. My name is Josh, I have been a Movie Apprentice, and I hope you enjoyed today's lesson.